Yo, 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 we back at it again with another bang. Today's video is going to be on the legendary group Ghetto Twins in that water. We're going to be getting into the history behind that, the making of the album, production, cover, and everything. So, without further ado, get your drinks, your wines, your snacks, your smoke. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a video. Let's get into this. Ghetto Twins is the most notorious group from Rap A Lot, period. They are so legendary, and I feel that people don't give them they, they flowers and credit like they should. Like, this group paved the way for a lot of female rappers to do what they do today. This was their second album. The first album, Surrounded by Criminals, that hit big top on charts, and it made them very, very noticeable because people was like, it's not really too many female artists going hard at this point. I mean, Queen Latifah, Lil' Kim, but wasn't nobody going hard as the Ghetto Twins. They come with their raw, rugged raps. Their style of rap was basically the opposite of what the male rappers and gangster rap that was doing. They were talking about females, about using them and using them for all their money and, and just leaving them stranded. Ghetto Twins, on the other hand, they came with a response about, hey, nigga, we got a voice too. We coming in this game, we shutting it down. All y'all niggas thought that females can't do it. We finna show y'all different. And that style is all over this album. Album sound selection is so perfect perfectly written their lyrics all of it was written by them of course like the background vocals and people like that but we'll get into that a little later some of these songs on this album is so legendary like the songs make you picture it and you have to do nothing but respect it for instance yiggy ya that song is my favorite you know this this is my mom's favorite group by the way if the ghetto twins have watched this. Uh, Yiggy Ya is one of those songs where like you listen to it and you got to laugh when certain parts come up. The song is basically about ghetto twins. They out on a night at the club. They smelling good, tight fitted clothes. They got their, you know, they sweets, they drink, and they see this guy that has beef and they're basically setting him up. They leading him outside putting the tech to his side, blowing him up. He's not really realizing what they're trying to do until later on. They come in, they entice him, and they lead him outside, and they basically beat him alive. And they stop for a minute, and that's when he starts talking, and that's where the funny part comes in. He was like, if you let me live, I get y'all my dough, and I promise that you never will ever see me no more. If you let me live, I get y'all my cash skill time. You can even say you killed my ass. Like, man, that's funny to me. Like, you let females beat you down, and now you begging for your life type of thing. And that's what their point of this song was. Another song that really made this album good and great to the public is the song Mama's Hurting. This song touched so many people's hearts, and this shows the the humbleness side of the ghetto twins. This song, they're talking about a drive-by shooting with a kid in the car, and the car wound up getting shot up, and the kid wound up passing. Now, to this point, the law show up, gets the kid, does away with it. They have the funeral. Everybody at the funeral losing it and now letting you know you killed my child now it's time for your karma to come back for you earlier than expect and when i catch you i'm gonna blow your brain this song got ghetto twins so much respect you can't listen to ghetto twins without hearing this song first the beat is so sensual and player but emotional at the same time the song was produced by Leroy Precise Edwards. He pretty much produced this whole album and Mike Dean came over and mastered it. But the song was produced by Precise. And another song that really got them a lot of recognition and made their careers just fly off the hook was their song, Responsibility. Now, Responsibility is one of those songs that a lot of females 
relate to whether you black, white, Hispanic, Asian, every female in the hood relates to these this type of song. And when you every time Ghetto Twins perform it, the crowd goes crazy. You got OG Shipe singing on the vocals, and they just bringing their talents in this song. The song is basically about talking about a woman who's raising her son by herself and the father is not there. I mean, he's there, but he's not there. You know, he's cheating. He's He doesn't be a father to his child and he doesn't realize how that's going to leave a scar on his family. And the female is trying to hold on but eventually she'll have to let go of him eventually because he's not doing nothing around the house. He's just there and not taking care of anything. And a lot of females can relate to this song because a lot of females are going through this. The song is so legendary. And when you think of Ghetto Twins, this is one of the songs that you think of. Also, this song took them to many stages and interviews. Another song that everyone loves from this album is Gangsta Shit. The song is featured Miss T and it sampled Eugene Wilde Gonna Get You Home Tonight. That sample that they used is so legendary and people think it's just a sample, but they switched the whole chorus up and switched it to some gangsters. <laughs> Bro, they, they, they switched it from a love song to a gangster song. Like, just like that. Album was received very well. When it released, it hit number 36 on the top R&B and hip-hop charts. And number 13 on the top Heat Seekers charts. And the album sold thousands of units. And this put rap a lot on the scene again because it was already boiling. This was 1997. This was after you had 3-2. Ghetto Boys had already did their Resurrection album that was working on the good, the bad, and the ugly. And rap a lot was the place to be around this time. They got to be on the rap show, Rap City, along with Scarface. Pretty much the, the whole rap a lot. And they came on there, pressed up, looking good for the camera. I think this was uh, Scarface's release party or rap a lot had a party somewhere in Rap City. Had came there and did their thing. And man, I just want to talk about this artwork for a minute. This pen and pixel look, man, they captured their looks to the T. Like they put Ghetto Twins lyrics on a cover, like. They took them into the studio at Pan and Pixel. They shot different shots of them. And originally, I'm pretty sure that the guns wasn't in their hand right here. And Pan and Pixel just went into their stock footage folder and put the guns on top of their hands. Of course, they took pictures of the cars and all that. But then they just made the lake and put different stuff in there from their stock footage like not only did Ghetto Twins have this soul touching rowdy music, but Pen and Pixel helped bring their lyrics to life. Pen and Pixel did pretty much all of their album covers, so there's not an album cover that doesn't match their lyrics. They would do different concepts in the future. All these tracks on this album, the flow, the attitude is so rugged and raw. It's like they're the female version of Mystical. I must say that Jay Prince knew what he was doing when he put these, these legendary twins on his label and pushed their careers. Still to this day, you would never find or see or hear a group that sounds nothing like them. Their swagger and attitude was so ambitious and so rare that it's lasted a lifetime. But yeah... Man, this group left a mark in music history forever. When you think of rap a lot and you be like, you know, it was all males. But hey, I remember that group Ghetto Twins. Man, they was hard. And still, as of now, they still dropping their heat. They still dropping them singles. They're working on an album, you know, from what I've heard. They did a song with Jeter Jones. 
and that was hidden and for all the people who is wondering i am 20 years old yes i'm a youngin and know about all this real music old school music a lot of people will be like you know what this youngster here know about that and i know about the everything and i'm gonna show y'all with future bangers i'm gonna drop I'm going to be doing South Circle. I'm going to be doing Mystical. I'm going to be doing Zero versus the World. Somebody requested that. I'm going to be doing some Ghetto Boy review. I'm going to do a whole bunch from uh, Straight Profit. I'm going to be doing Grace, Wood, Flex. One on the OG Mercedes. I'm going to do one on Mia X, Mr. Servon. I'm going to be doing pretty much a little of everybody. I'm and the whole nine yards. Y'all just stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on that bell to get notified every time I upload a video. And your boy gonna always be here. It's gonna have that good quality content that's gonna bring your eyes and ears to the rear. And I'm out this joint. Much love to them GT. Salute.